Hi, I'm Forrest Scarf, the Saskatchewan Ministry of Agriculture's Provincial Specialist for Fruit Crops. In this video, I will focus on key features of pruning techniques for commercial growers. The purpose of pruning is to ensure a physiological balance between fruit production and plant growth via selective removal of wood, for controlling the direction of growth and for trellising and mechanical harvesting. Pruning also helps to ensure that you maximize plant structure for fruit yield, fruit quality, and management efficiency. The idea is to maximize the transfer of solar radiation into fruit production. The four main goals of pruning are to remove diseased tissues or broken branches when cutting disease, always cut well below the obviously diseased tissues. To open the plant canopy to allow better airflow and light penetration, this also helps with the efficacy of pest control spray applications to rejuvenate old plants by removing old unproductive wood or to establish the initial structure for juvenile plants and to remove branches with poor crotch angles any crotch angle below roughly 35 degrees is likely to be weak and is susceptible to break especially under a heavy fruit set branches that cross over others should be pruned because they create wounds and an avenue for disease infection branches that run parallel with other productive branches and those that are water sprouts meaning that they grow vertically off of lateral branches, and branches that compete with the central leader should also all be pruned. Early to late spring, mid-March to late April, is the best time to prune because diseases and insects are dormant. The plants have the entire summer to heal pruning wounds, and the plants are less challenged to survive through cold, drying winter conditions. Fall winter pruning is possible after the plants go dormant, but the amount of removal should be less aggressive than spring pruning because there's a possibility for desiccation and uh, winter injury. Summer pruning should be somewhat limited to removal of diseased tissues. Early summer has the biggest dwarfing effect and no pruning during the bloom period should be performed as plants are more energy stressed at this time of year and disease spread is more likely to occur. How much to prune is a judgment call that has to be made by the growers based on the vigor of the tree. The recommended maximum removal in mature trees is between a quarter and one third of the total plant mass. In immature plants, pruning is minimized to removal of a few branches necessary to achieve an appropriate structural framework. Excessive pruning overstimulates growth, causing loss of fruit color, delayed fruit maturity, growth of suckers and water sprouts, potential for win winter injury through overstimulation of new vigorous growth, and increase in the susceptibility to fire blight and cankers. There are two basic types of pruning cuts. Heading back cuts remove the terminal end of a branch, but they leave the basal end so that the branch can continue to grow and reform. Heading back results in the loss of terminal bud hormonal dominance, and with the loss of dominance, the remaining lateral buds will be stimulated to grow. These cuts be can be used to influence the direction of branch growth. Removal cuts or thinning cuts completely remove branches so that regrowth will not occur because no lateral buds remain. These cuts can be made to create desired plant structure and to stimulate new juvenile growth. There are a few important aspects of pruning that are always important to keep in mind. Do not leave a stub where the pruning cut is made. Stubs are an avenue for disease to enter the plant because they usually do not heal effectively. In order to make a flush cut, ensure that the blade side of the tool is on the inside position of the cut. If you're doing a heading back cut, ensure the cut is close to the next remaining axillary bud and that the cut is on a slight angle so that the water does not pool on the cut surface. To make hand pruning much easier when using secateurs, slowly push the branch being pruned in the direction that the cut is being made and timed in correspondence with the action of the cut. For more information, contact me directly at forest.scarf at gov.sk.ca.